Hey everyone, welcome to Meeple Bits. Thanks for joining me today. In today's episode of Tabletop Simulator, we're going to go through the game Ticket to Ride. This one is a community uh, created mod, so the title of it just Ticket to Ride, created by the user Laudani. As always, links will be available in the description below. We're going to go through this version of Ticket to Ride so that we can understand what's scripted, what's done for you, and what you as the player are going to need to manage and control on your own. So stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome back to Ticket to Ride on Tabletop Simulator. So we're going to go through this version of Ticket to Ride so that we can understand exactly what we have to do as users and what's going to be done for us. Well, in this particular version, spoiler alert, nothing is done for you. The only thing that's, I guess, a quality of life uh, convenience in this particular version is that the trains and the cards uh, over here and in your section will snap into place. But let's go ahead and dive in so you can see that all of that in real time. So I'm joined here again by my table mate, and we are going to uh, begin, um, I guess let's go through the elements real quick. You got your victory uh, track tokens, you've got your ticket deck, you've got your train deck, and then all the way down here, you've got the different drawers for um, the trains. So to begin, we're each going to select a color. I'll pick red like I typically do. Once you've picked your seat, you'll be able to open the drawer of trains and reveal them to you. Next, you're gonna to need to deal out the train cards to both the players as well as the track here um, and the tickets. So in this particular version, I think, uh, I think you get, uh, what is it, three tickets per person, but it's kind of clunky, so. I'm going to deal out three tickets, but as you'll see here, to get it into a player's hand, you kind of have to like shift around a little bit in order to, to make it work. Like I can't even manage to get it into my hand. There we go. Okay, got it. And then you can flip the cards. Did I only take two? Let me grab my third card. So again, pressing the R key is what I found on this version to work the best. So when you're trying to drag a train card or a ticket card into your hand, you'll notice at first it's not there. So you kind of have to press the R key to bring up the, uh, the grid that allows the card to lock and snap into your location. Go ahead and return that to the deck and then per of course the rules you're going to go through these uh, starting cards you have to uh, pick at least one to keep and then start a discard pile kind of off over to the side same thing with the uh, the train deck so when you are ready to get your set of trains and then you need to bring them into your hand again you're going to need to do it kind of one at a time because for whatever reason, this particular version, oh, I dropped a card. <laughs> uh, this particular version, it kind of struggles a little bit for some reason with the scripting and getting things into your hand in the right way. But we've got our kind of starting hand, we've got our starting uh, section, and then we're ready to sort of dive in. Next, you're going to have to take the uh, cards on the side. Now, these train cards, when dealing out the, uh, the play area, they will snap into place, so that's good. But once you've chosen them, you need to kind of go through, make sure you press your F key to flip them around. And then of course, the same thing, when you're paying for something, start a discard pile. There isn't sort of a set space to reset those cards in any capacity. The good thing though is, over here on the lower right hand side, there is some light instructions. Now I know that I'm sort of blocking it on the camera, but it does tell you what you can do on your turn. Turn action, take one of the following. Draw one wild train card from the run, up here. Draw two train cards. Play train cards, or draw three tickets and at least keep one. So they give you some light instructions as well to help you along. Now, when you're ready to pay for a leg uh, of trains, the other cool thing is 
they do snap into place. So as you select the different trains and you drop them over the different markers on the board, they will snap into their respective locations and then rotate how they're supposed to. So that's kind of, again, a nice quality of life in this particular version. So we're not going to go through and dive into uh, taking any turns because, look, <laughs> most of us have played Ticket to Ride. We, we understand it. Um, but I just wanted to kind of give you guys the overview of being able to use and navigate this particular version. So same with the victory tokens. You're going to have to manually move your victory token around. Nothing's going to keep track when you've completed um, a leg or anything of that capacity. So just to quickly recap, manually deal out the ticket cards, manually deal out the train cards. They will snap into place here on the uh, play on the selection area. Your trains will also snap into place on the grid up here, no matter where it is. It will rotate and snap where it needs to go. You'll have to manually move your markers around the board. And then when bringing cards into your hand, if you don't immediately see your personal play area, just give your R key a, a toggle, and then that'll sort of force it into uh, to position. So anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this version of uh, ta Tabletop Simulator and Ticket to Ride. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I'm happy to answer it. If you've enjoyed the video, I appreciate the support. Feel free to give a like and subscribe if you like. And uh, I guess, guys, um, until next time, thanks for watching.